let me offer my radical opinion now. I think the Democrats are actually sure. in more trouble because the majority of their candidates are well over 70. Uh, Harry Reid in over 70. I think he's, what, 74, 76. Pelosi's very old. Hillary Clinton's not young by any means. Bernie Sanders is pretty ancient. I mean, across the board, the big Dem leadership, they're all poised for the graveyard sooner than later. Oh, that's right. You're not wrong. The Democrat bench yeah. is <laughs> maybe uh, maybe a Tulsi Gabbard. She's pretty good from uh, from Hawaii. I'm not saying like they don't but, have yeah. good candidates, but they're they're getting old. Oh, their bench is weak as shit, man. It's 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 they they have no. That's why you know they were clamoring for Biden to get in the race when everyone thought Hillary was sunk because of the email scandal. Um, they literally have no one else. You know, wait, wait, wait. We've got the Bernie the was an interesting side. thing. Keep in mind on the Democrat side, you've got uh, two strong uh, future candidates in Kristen Gillibrand uh, and uh, Elizabeth Warren. Both uh, have a lot of popularity. Both of them knew that Hillary was sucking all the air out of this this Democratic uh, primary season, and there's no way in the world they were going to run and lose to her. So I think there there is a little space on the Democratic side. Uh, 66, post, uh, what's that? Warren is sixty six though. Yeah, I mean that's that's relatively young uh, on, on the Same scale story. of things. I mean they're not they're not quite uh, you know in the grave. Gillibrand is is quite young, <laughs> and I, I suspect there there's a lot more out there on the Republican side who are just laying low because they're so certain that Hillary is going to be uh, certainly the Democratic nominee. Uh, and has a very good chance of, of winning the White House. Sanders. Those folks will all be pulled up and, and sprinkled around the administration uh, for seasoning and public exposure, um, assuming she uh, allows us to have an election again in, in four years and doesn't just reveal herself, <laughs> reveal herself as one of the lizard people, uh, you know, and take over uh, things, uh, form a caliphate or whatever. Um, but I digress. Um, you know, the Republicans are are. Are, are eating themselves. Trump and Carson, can you imagine them on, on a stage with Hillary? Um, she will just destroy them. They'll be, Carson, will, she won't let Carson get away with claiming the Chinese are in Syria or that, you know, God blesses his tax plan or any of this other crap. I mean, Trump will, 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 will make some vagina joke and, and Hillary will just destroy him. Um, I'm serious. Yeah, that'd be I mean, funny to watch. It would be amusing to watch, um, except when you, I mean, especially if I didn't live in America. Um, <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> when it's over, one of them gets to run the country. <laughs> yeah, when you realize, yeah, the, the one of them will get to run the country. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I'm already extremely depressed, and it's still a year to go until this election. <laughs>